Thai, Central Thai, or Ayutthaya or Siamese, is the sole official and national language of Thailand, and the first language of the Central Thai people and vast majority of Thai of Chinese origin. It is a member of the Thai group of the Kra Dai language family. Over half of Thai vocabulary is derived from or borrowed from Pali, Sanskrit, Mon, and Old Khmer. It is a tonal and analytic language. Thai has a complex orthography and system of relational markers. Spoken Thai is mutually intelligible with Lao and Isan, fellow southwestern Thai languages, to a significantly high degree where its speakers are able to effectively communicate each speaking their respective language. These languages are written with slightly different scripts but are linguistically similar and effectively form a dialect continuum. Topic. Varieties and related languages Thai is the official language of Thailand, natively spoken by, according to Ethnologue, over 20 million people 2000. In reality, the number of native Thai speakers is likely to be much higher, since the Thai people of ethnic Chinese origins throughout the country learn it as their first language. The populations of western and eastern parts of Thailand, which had since ancient time formed the core territory of Siam, also speak Central Thai as their first language. Moreover, most Thais in the northern and the northeastern Isan parts of the country today are bilingual speakers of Central Thai and their respective regional dialects due to the fact that Central Thai is the language of television, education, news reporting, and all forms of media. A recent research finds that the speakers of Northern Thai language or Kam Muyang have become so few, as most people in Northern Thailand now invariably speak Standard Thai, such that they are now using mostly Central Thai words and seasoning their speech only with Kam Muyang accent. Standard Thai is based on Ayutthaya dialect, and register in the educated classes. In addition to Central Thai, Thailand is home to other related Thai languages. Although some linguists classify these dialects as related but distinct languages, there is a high degree of mutual intelligibility between these regional dialects, languages. Nonetheless, it is often claimed that the language policy of the Thai government has shaped the dominant view that these languages are only regional variants or dialects of the same Thai language, or as different kinds of Thai. Dialects Central Plains Thai Eastern Central Plains Ayutthaya dialect standard Thai, Outer Bangkok, native spoken in encircle area of Bangkok such as Ayutthaya, Ang Thong, Lopburi, Saraburi, Nakhon Nayak, Nandaburi, Patham Thani, Samut Sakhon and Samut Prakhan provinces, eastern and northern Bangkok. Although this dialect is standard form and sole use in education system, however this dialect are not public especially in metropolitan area, in media can found on Thai royal news only. Eastern dialect, spoken in Chanthaburi, Trat, Sa Kyo, Prakanburi except Muang Prakanburi, Si Maha Phot and Kaban Buri districts, Chachonsao except Muang Paetriu, Bang Khla, Ban Pha and Bang Pakong districts, part of Chanburi and part of Koh Kong provinces Thonburi dialect also called Bangkok dialect, spoken in Thonburi side of Bangkok. Have some Portuguese and Persian influences. Vientiane Central Thai, spoken in Debo district and some place in Ratchaburi province Western Central Plains Safanburi dialect, spoken in Sufan Buri, Singh Buri, Nakhon Patham, part of Samut Sankram, part of Ratchaburi and some place in Rayong provinces. This dialect is standard form in Ayutthaya kingdom, but today remain in Khon only. Kanchanaburi dialect, spoken in Kanchanaburi. Very related to Safanburi dialect. Rayong dialect, spoken in Rayong province, Bang Lamung, Satahip and part of Si Racha districts Topic. Capital Core Thai Core area Krung Tep dialect also called Phra Nakhon dialect, native spoken in core area of Phra Nakhon side in Bangkok but not native in eastern and northern Bangkok which speak standard Thai, however this dialect is common use as an entire metropolitan area. Very high Teochew influences. Common media in Thailand use this dialect. 
Chonburi dialect called Paetriu dialect in Chachonsao province, spoken in most part of Chonburi, Muyang Paetriu, Bang Khla, Ban Pha and Bang Pakong districts in Chachonsao, Muyang Prakanburi, Si Maha Fote and Kaban Buri districts in Parchanburi, part of Chanthaburi provinces, and Aranyaprathit district. Very high Teochew influences. Enclave areas Nangrong dialect, spoken in Nong Rong district. Very high Teochew influences. Fotharam dialect, language enclave in Fotharam, Ban Pong and Muyang Ratchaburi districts. Have some Teochew and southwestern dialect influences but classified as capital dialect. Hatyi dialect, spoke by non Peranakan Chinese origin in Hat Yai district. Peranakans speak Southern Thai language, very high Teochew and some Southern Thai influences. Southern Thai language called Liang Ka Luang. Thai. He Liming Kalwing Bandan dialect, spoke by non Peranakan Chinese origin in Muyang Surat Thani district, very similar with Hatyi dialect. Betong dialect, spoke by non Peranakan Chinese origin in Patani area, very similar with Hatyi dialect. Topic. Upper Central Thai Sukhothai dialects. New Sukhothai dialect, spoken in Sukhothai, Kamphang Phet, Pichit and part of Tok provinces. High Northern Thai influence. Pitsanulok dialect, or Old Sukhothai dialect, spoken in Pitsanulok, Pechabun and part of Uttaradit provinces. This dialect is standard form in vassal state of Fitsanulok Songkwai. Pak Nam Pha dialect, spoken in Nakhon Sawan, Utai Thani, Chai Nat, part of Pichit and part of Kamphang Phet provinces. <laughs> Southwestern Thai, Tenasaram Thai. Ratchburi dialect, spoken in Ratchaburi and most area in Samut Sankram provinces. Pripri dialect, spoken in Phetchaburi and Prakwap Kiri Khan provinces except Thap Sake, Bang Safan and Bang Safan Noi districts. Korat Thai Related languages ISAN Northeastern Thai, the language of the ISAN region of Thailand, a collective term for the various Lao dialects spoken in Thailand that show some central Thai influences, which is written with the Thai script. It is spoken by about 20 million people. Thais from both inside and outside the ISAN region often simply call this variant Lao when speaking informally. Northern Thai Fasa Nua, Lana, Kam Muyang, or Thai Yuan, spoken by about 6 million 1983 in the formerly independent kingdom of Lana Chiang Mai. Shares strong similarities with Lao to the point that in the past the Siamese Thais referred to it as Lao. Southern Thai Thai Thai, Pak Thai, or Dambro, spoken by about 4.5 million 2006. Fu Thai, spoken by about half a million around Nakhon Phanom Province, and 300,000 more in Laos and Vietnam 2006. Phuan, spoken by 200,000 in Central Thailand and ISAN, and 100,000 more in Northern Laos 2006. Shan Thai Luang, Thai Long, Thai Yai, spoken by about 100,000 in Northwest Thailand along the border with the Shan states of Burma, and by 3.2 million in Burma 2006. Lu, Lu, Yang, Dai, spoken by about 1 million in northern Thailand, and 600,000 more in Sipsong Panna of China, Burma, and Laos. Niav language, spoken by 50,000 in Nakhon Phanom Province, Sakhon Nakhon Province, Udon Thani Province of Northeast Thailand. 1990. Song, spoken by about 30,000 in central and northern Thailand. 2000. Topic. Registers Central Thai is composed of several distinct registers, forms for different social contexts Street or common Thai, Fasa Fud Fasa Fut, spoken Thai, informal, without polite terms of address, as used between close relatives and friends. Elegant or formal Thai, Fasa Kian Fasa Kian, written Thai, official and written version, includes respectful terms of address, used in simplified form in newspapers. Rhetorical Thai, used for public speaking. Religious Thai, heavily influenced by Sanskrit and Pali, used when discussing Buddhism or addressing monks. 
Royal Thai, Rachasif Thracha Sap, influenced by Khmer, this is used when addressing members of the royal family or describing their activities. See Monarchy of Thailand section Rachasip. Most Thais can speak and understand all of these contexts. Street and elegant Thai are the basis of all conversations. Rhetorical, religious, and royal Thai are taught in schools as the national curriculum. Topic. Script Many scholars believe that the Thai script is derived from the Khmer script. Certainly the numbers were lifted directly from Khmer. The language and its script are closely related to the Lao language and script. Most literate Lao are able to read and understand Thai, as more than half of the Thai vocabulary, grammar, intonation, vowels and so forth are common with the Lao language. Much like the Burmese adopted the Mon script which also has Indic origins, the Thais adopted and modified the Khmer script to create their own writing system. While in Thai the pronunciation can largely be inferred from the script, the orthography is complex, with silent letters to preserve original spellings and many letters representing the same sound. While the oldest known inscription in the Khmer language dates from 611 CE, inscriptions in Thai writing began to appear around 1292 CE. Notable features include It is an abugida script, in which the implicit vowel is a short a, in a syllable without final consonant and a short o, in a syllable with final consonant. Tone markers, if present, are placed above the final onset consonant of the syllable. Vowels sounding after an initial consonant can be located before, after, above or below the consonant, or in a combination of these positions. Topic. Transcription. There is no universally applied method for transcribing Thai into the Latin alphabet. For example, the name of the main airport is transcribed variously as Suwanapum, Suwanapum, or Suwanapum. Guide books, textbooks and dictionaries may each follow different systems. For this reason, most language courses recommend that learners master the Thai script. Official standards are the Royal Thai General System of Transcription (RTGS), published by the Royal Institute of Thailand, and the almost identical ISO 11940-2 defined by the International Organization for Standardization. The RTGS system is increasingly used in Thailand by central and local governments, especially for road signs. Its main drawbacks are that it does not indicate tone or vowel length. As the system is based on pronunciation, not orthography, reconstruction of Thai spelling from RTGS romanization is not possible. Topic. Transliteration The ISO published an international standard for the transliteration of Thai into Roman script in September 2003 ISO 11940. By adding diacritics to the Latin letters, it makes the transcription reversible, making it a true transliteration. Notably, this system is used by Google Translate, although it seems not to appear in many other contexts, such as textbooks and other instructional media. This may be because the particular problems of writing Thai for foreigners, including silent letters and placement of vowel markers, decrease the usefulness of literal transliteration. Topic. Phonology. Topic. Consonants Topic. Initials Thai distinguishes three voice onset times among plosive and affricate consonants Voiced Tenuous unvoiced, unaspirated Aspirated where English makes a distinction between voiced, b, and aspirated, p. Thai distinguishes a third sound that is neither voiced nor aspirated, which occurs in English only as an allophone of p, for example after an s, as in the sound of the p in spin. There is similarly an alveolar d, t, t, triplet in Thai. In the velar series there is a, k, k, pair and in the postalveolar series a, t, t, pair, but the language lacks the corresponding voiced sounds and d in loanwords from english english and d are borrowed as the tenuous stops k and t in each cell below the first line indicates international phonetic alphabet ipa the second indicates the thai characters in initial position several letters appearing in the same box have identical pronunciation note also that h one of the two h letters is also used to help write certain tones described below asterisk kh and kh are no longer used 
Thus, modern Thai is said to have 42 consonant letters. Asterisk asterisk initial X is silent and therefore considered as a glottal stop. Topic. Finals Although the overall 44 Thai consonant letters provide 21 sounds in case of initials, the case for finals is different. For finals, only 8 sounds, as well as no sound, called matra, matra are used. To demonstrate, at the end of a syllable, b b, and d d, are devoiced, becoming pronounced as p, and t, respectively. Additionally, all plosive sounds are unreleased. Hence, final, p, t, and, k, sounds are pronounced as p, t, and, k, respectively. Of the consonant letters, excluding the disused kh and kh, 6, fhxh cannot be used as a final and the other 36 are grouped as following. Asterisk the glottal plosive appears at the end when no final follows a short vowel. Topic. Clusters In Thai, each syllable in a word is considered separate from the others, so combinations of consonants from adjacent syllables are never recognized as a cluster. Thai has phonotactical constraints that define permissible syllable structure, consonant clusters, and vowel sequences. Original Thai vocabulary introduces only 11 combined consonantal patterns kr, ker per kilo liter, kl kw, ko kr, ker ker kl, kel kel k with, ko ko pr, pr place, place pr, fur pl, Fell fell tr, tr the number of clusters increases when a few more combinations are presented in loanwords such as, tr, thir in zinthra, in ra, from Sanskrit indra, or, fr, fur in fry, fry, from English free, however, it can be observed that Thai language supports only those in initial position, with either, r, l, or, with as the second consonant sound and not more than two sounds at a time. Topic. Vowels. The vowel nuclei of the Thai language, which includes monophthongs and opening diphthongs, are given in the following table. The top entry in every cell is the symbol from the International Phonetic Alphabet, the second entry gives the spelling in the Thai alphabet, where a dash indicates the position of the initial consonant after which the vowel is pronounced. A second dash indicates that a final consonant must follow. The vowels each exist in long short pairs, these are distinct phonemes forming unrelated words in Thai, but usually transliterated the same, kao means he or she, while ka kao means white. The long short pairs are as follows, there are also closing diphthongs and triphthongs in Thai, which Tingzabad and Abramson analyze as underlyingly, vj, and vw. For purposes of determining tone, those marked with an asterisk are sometimes classified as long. Topic tones There are five phonemic tones, mid, low, falling, high, and rising, sometimes referred to in older reference works as rectus, gravis, circumflexus, altus, and demissus, respectively. The table shows an example of both the phonemic tones and their phonetic realization, in the IPA. The full complement of tones exists only in so-called live syllables, those that end in a long vowel or a sonorant per meter, n, j, with. For dead syllables, those that end in a plosive, p, t, k, or in a short vowel, only three tonal distinctions are possible, low, high, and falling. Because syllables analyzed as ending in a short vowel may have a final glottal stop especially in slower speech, all dead syllables are phonetically checked, and have the reduced tonal inventory characteristic of checked syllables. Topic unchecked syllables Topic Checked syllables In some English loanwords, closed syllables with long vowel ending in an obstruent sound, have high tone, and closed syllables with short vowel ending in an obstruent sound have falling tone. The first of maybe, ba acute s, ket, bl, in educated speech. Topic grammar From the perspective of linguistic typology, Thai can be considered to be an analytic language. The word order is subject verb object, although the subject is often omitted. Thai pronouns are selected according to the gender and relative status of speaker and audience. Topic adjectives and adverbs There is no morphological distinction between adverbs and adjectives. Many words can be used in either function. They follow the word they modify, which may be a noun, verb, or another adjective or adverb. 
Ken zone kon uan, kon un, a fat person ken t zone ru, kon t uan reo, kon t i circumflex un ru, a person who became fat quickly. Comparatives take the form a x qua b k w a, k w a grave, a is more x than b. The superlative is expressed as a x thisid t s u t, t i circumflex suit, a is most x k a zone qua chan, kau uan k w a chan, k a un k w a grave t n s, he is fatter than me. K a zone thisid kau uan tsut, k a un ti circumflex suit s, he is the fattest of all, because adjectives can be used as complete predicates, many words used to indicate tense in verbs, see verbs, tense below, may be used to describe adjectives. Chan hiv chan hiu, t and hiv, I am hungry. Chan ka hiv chan cha hiu, t and t a grave hiv, I will be hungry. Chan Kalang Hiv Chan Kamling Hiu, Tian Kamla Hiv, I am hungry right now. Chan Hiv Layu Chan Hiu Laeo, Tian Hiv Lw, I am already hungry. Remark Chan Hiv Layu mostly means, I am hungry right now, because normally, Layu Lw marks the change of a state, but Layu has many other uses as well. For example, in the sentence, Layu Thex Ka Pai Hin Lw Tta Grave Paj Naj, so where are you going? Layu Lw is used as a discourse particle. Verbs Verbs do not inflect. They do not change with person, tense, voice, mood, or number, nor are there any participles. Chan T K A Chan T Kao, T, and T K A, I hit him. Kaya ti chan kao ti chan, kaya ti ti, and, he hit me, the passive voice is indicated by the insertion of tuk, tuk, tu grave k, before the verb. For example, kaya tuk ti kao tuk ti, kaya ti u grave k ti, he is hit. This describes an action that is out of the receiver's control and, thus, conveys suffering, to convey the opposite sense, a sense of having an opportunity arrive, di di, daj, ken, is used. For example, Kaya ka di pi they mun la kao cha di pi thiao muyang lao, kao ti, a daj paj tiom la w, he gets to visit Laos, note, di, daj, and, da circumflex j, though both spelled d, convey two separate meanings. The short vowel di, daj, conveys an opportunity has arisen and is placed before the verb. The long vowel di, da circumflex j, is placed after the verb and conveys the idea that one has been given permission or one has the ability to do something. Also see the past tense below. Kaya t d kao t di, kao t da circumflex j, he is, was allowed to hit or he is, was able to hit negation as indicated by placing me, my, maj, not, before the verb. Kaya mi t kao my t. He is not hitting, or he doesn't hit. Tense is conveyed by tense markers before or after the verb. Present can be indicated by kalang, kamling, kamla, currently before the verb for ongoing action, like English ing form, by zayu, u, j u grave after the verb, or by both. For example, kaya kalang wing kao kamling wing, kaa kamla we, or kaya wing zayu kao wing u, kaa we j u grave, or Kaya Kalang Wing Zayu Kao Kamling Wing Yu, Kaa Kamla Wi J U Grave, he is running. Future can be indicated by Ka, Cha, T, A, Will, before the verb or by a time expression indicating the future. For example, Kaya Ka Wing Kao Cha Wing, Kaa T, A Wi, he will run or he is going to run. Past can be indicated by D, Di, D A circumflex J, Did, before the verb or by a time expression indicating the past. However, leu laeo, lw, already, is often used to indicate the past tense by being placed behind the verb. Or, both d and leu are put together to form the past tense expression. For example, kaya di kin kao di kin, kaa da circumflex j kin, he ate. Kaya kin leu kao kin laeo, kaa kin lw, he has eaten. Kaya di kin leu kao di kin laeo, kaa di a circumflex j kin lw, he's already eaten, tense markers are not required. Chan kin ti nan chan kin thinan, t, and kin ti i circumflex nan, i eat there. Chan kin ti nan mu wan chan kin thinan muayawan, i ate there yesterday. Chan kin ti nan frung ni chan kin thinan frung ni, I'll eat there tomorrow, Thai exhibits serial verb constructions, where verbs are strung together. Some word combinations are common and may be considered set phrases.
Kaya pi kin ka kao pi kin kao, kao pa j kin ka circumflex w he went out to eat, literally he go eat rice Chan fang mi kiachi chan fang mai kao chai, ti and fa maj k a t a j I don't understand what was said, literally I listen not understand k a ma kao ma, k a ma come in, literally enter come x pi ok pi, k p a j leave, or get out, literally exit go Topic. Nouns Nouns are uninflected and have no gender, there are no articles. Nouns are neither singular nor plural. Some specific nouns are reduplicated to form collectives, dick dick child is often repeated as dick 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 to refer to a group of children. The word fuik may be used as a prefix of a noun or pronoun as a collective to pluralize or emphasize the following word, fuik fem fuak fam, piuik piom, we, masculine, fuik re fuak rao, piuik ra, emphasized we, fuik heme fuak ma, the dogs. Plurals are expressed by adding classifiers, used as measure words, lock s and mom in the form of noun number classifier, kru ha a teacher five person, for five teachers. While in English, such classifiers are usually absent. Four chairs, or optional. Two bottles of beer, or two beers. A classifier is almost always used in Thai, hence, chair four item, and beer two bottle. Topic. Pronouns Subject pronouns are often omitted, with nicknames used where English would use a pronoun. See informal and formal names for more details. Pronouns, when used, are ranked in honorific registers, and may also make a TV distinction in relation to kinship and social status. Specialized pronouns are used for those with royal and noble titles, and for clergy. The following are appropriate for conversational use. The reflexive pronoun is ta zeng, tua eng, which can mean any of, myself, yourself, ourselves, himself, herself, themselves. This can be mixed with another pronoun to create an intensive pronoun, such as ta fem zeng, tua fam eng, lit, I myself, or ta kun zeng, tua kun eng, lit, you yourself. Thai also does not have a separate possessive pronoun. Instead, possession is indicated by the particle kek seng, kong. For example, my mother is mei kek seng fem, mei kong fam, lit, mother of I. This particle is often implicit, so the phrase is shortened to mei fem, mei fam. Plural pronouns can be easily constructed by adding the word fuik puik in front of a singular pronoun as in fuik kea puik kao meaning they are fuik thex puik tho meaning the plural sense of you. The only exception to this is re rao, which can be used as singular informal or plural, but can also be used in the form of fuik re puik rao, which is only plural. Thai has many more pronouns than those listed above. Their usage is full of nuances. For example, Fem re chan dichan hanu ku ka krafam kafsia kramexem zatma kan ka inksi ka frefusia zaukea. All translate to I, but each expresses a different gender, age, politeness, status, or relationship between speaker and listener. Re rao can be first person I, second person you, or both we, depending on the context. Children or younger female could use or being referred by word hanu when talking with older person. The word hanu could be both feminine first person I and feminine second person you and also neuter first and neuter second person for children. Hanu commonly means rat or mouse. It could refers to small creature in general. The second person pronoun thex though, lit, you, is semi-feminine. It is used only when the speaker or the listener or both are female. Males usually don't address each other by this pronoun. Both kun, kun and thex tho, are polite neuter second person pronouns. However, kun thex kun tho is a feminine derogative third person. Instead of a second person pronoun such as kun, you, it is much more common for unrelated strangers to call each other phi enexeng lung pa na ze ta ye, brother, sister, aunt, uncle, granny. To express deference, the second person pronoun is sometimes replaced by a profession, similar to how, in English, presiding judges are always addressed as your honor, rather than you. In Thai, students always address their teachers by kru, or kunkru, or zakari. Each means teacher, rather than kun, you. 
Teachers, monks, and doctors are almost always addressed this way. Topic. Particles The particles are often untranslatable words added to the end of a sentence to indicate respect, a request, encouragement or other moods similar to the use of intonation in English, as well as varying the level of formality. They are not used in elegant written Thai. The most common particles indicating respect are crab crap, k rap, with a high tone when the speaker is male, and ka kha, ka circumflex, with a falling tone when the speaker is female. These can also be used to indicate an affirmative, though the ka falling tone is changed to a ka high tone. Other common particles are <laughs> Register As noted above, Thai has several registers, each having certain usages, such as colloquial, formal, literary, and poetic. Thus, the word, eat, can be kin, kin, common, dake, dake, vulgar, yod, yod, vulgar, brifok, borifok, formal, rab, prothan, raprothan, formal, chan, chan, religious, or sui, sawoy, royal, as illustrated below. Thailand also uses the distinctive Thai six-hour clock in addition to the 24-hour clock. Topic. Vocabulary Other than compound words and words of foreign origin, most words are monosyllabic. Chinese language influence was strong until the 13th century when the use of Chinese characters was abandoned, and replaced by Sanskrit and Pali scripts. However, the vocabulary of Thai retains many words borrowed from Middle Chinese. Later, most vocabulary was borrowed from Sanskrit and Pali. Buddhist terminology is particularly indebted to these. Indic words have a more formal register, and may be compared to Latin and French borrowings in English. Old Khmer has also contributed its share, especially in regard to royal court terminology. Since the beginning of the 20th century, however, the English language has had the greatest influence, especially for scientific, technical, international, and other modern terms. Many Teochew Chinese words are also used, some replacing existing Thai words for example, the names of basic numbers, see also sino Topic: <laughs> Arabic origin Topic. Chinese origin From Middle Chinese or Teochew Chinese. Topic: English origin. Topic: French origin. Topic: Khmer origin. From Old Khmer. Topic: Portuguese origin. The Portuguese were the first Western nation to arrive in what is modern-day Thailand in the 16th century during the Ayutthaya period. Its influence in trade, especially weaponry, allowed them to establish a community just outside the capital and practice their faith, as well as exposing and converting the locals to Christianity. Thus, Portuguese words involving trade and religion were introduced and used by the locals. History. Thai has undergone various historical sound changes. Some of the most significant changes, at least in terms of consonants and tones, occurred between Old Thai spoken when the language was first written and Thai of present, reflected in the orthography. <laughs> <laughs> Old Thai Old Thai had a three-way tone distinction on live syllables those not ending in a stop, with no possible distinction on dead syllables those ending in a stop, i.e. either, p, t, k, or the glottal stop which automatically closes syllables otherwise ending in a short vowel. There was a two-way voiced versus voiceless distinction among all fricative and sonorant consonants, and up to a four-way distinction among stops and affricates. The maximal four-way occurred in labials, PPBB, and dentals, TTDD, the three-way distinction among velars, KK, and palatals, TD, with the glottalized member of each set apparently missing. The major change between old and modern Thai was due to voicing distinction losses and the concomitant tone split. This may have happened between about 1300 and 1600 CE, possibly occurring at different times in different parts of the Thai-speaking area. 
All voiced voiceless pairs of consonants lost the voicing distinction. Plain voiced stops, b d d, became voiceless aspirated stops, p t k t. Voiced fricatives became voiceless. Voiceless sonorants became voiced, however, in the process of these mergers the former distinction of voice was transferred into a new set of tonal distinctions. In essence, every tone in Old Thai split into two new tones, with a lower pitched tone corresponding to a syllable that formerly began with a voiced consonant, and a higher pitched tone corresponding to a syllable that formerly began with a voiceless consonant including glottalized stops. An additional complication is that formerly voiceless unaspirated stops, affricates original, ptk, bd, also caused original tone 1 to lower, but had no such effect on original tones 2 or 3. The above consonant mergers and tone splits account for the complex relationship between spelling and sound in modern Thai. Modern, low, class consonants were voiced in Old Thai, and the terminology, low, reflects the lower tone variants that resulted. Modern, mid, class consonants were voiceless unaspirated stops or affricates in Old Thai. Precisely the class that triggered lowering in original tone 1 but not tones 2 or 3. Modern. High class consonants were the remaining voiceless consonants in Old Thai voiceless fricatives, voiceless sonorants, voiceless aspirated stops, the three most common tone marks. The lack of any tone mark, as well as the two marks termed my ek and my though represent the three tones of Old Thai, and the complex relationship between tone mark and actual tone is due to the various tonal changes since then. Note also that since the tone split, the tones have changed in actual representation to the point that the former relationship between lower and higher tonal variants has been completely obscured. Furthermore, the six tones that resulted after the three tones of Old Thai were split have since merged into five in Standard Thai, with the lower variant of former tone 2 merging with the higher variant of former tone 3, becoming the modern falling tone. Early Old Thai also apparently had velar fricatives, x, as distinct phonemes. These were represented by the now obsolete letters Kach Ko Quat and Kach Ko Kon, respectively. During the Old Thai period, these sounds merged into the corresponding stops, K, and as a result the use of these letters became unstable. At some point in the history of Thai, a palatal nasal phoneme also existed, inherited from Proto Thai. A letter Y Yo Ying also exists, which is used to represent a palatal nasal in words borrowed from Sanskrit and Pali, and is currently pronounced J at the beginning of a syllable but N at the end of a syllable. Most native Thai words that are reconstructed as beginning with are also pronounced J in modern Thai, but generally spelled with Y Yo Yak, which consistently represents J. This suggests that greater than, j, in native words occurred in the pre-literary period. It is unclear whether Sanskrit and Pali words beginning with, were borrowed directly with a, j, or whether a, was reintroduced, followed by a second change, greater than, j. proto Thai also had a glottalized palatal sound, reconstructed as, j, in Li Fang Kui, 1977. Corresponding Thai words are generally spelled high, which implies an old Thai pronunciation of, h, j, or, j, but a few such words are spelled zai, which implies a pronunciation of j, and suggests that the glottalization may have persisted through to the early literary period. Topic. Vowel developments The vowel system of modern Thai contains nine pure vowels and three centering diphthongs, each of which can occur short or long. According to Lee 1977, however, many Thai dialects have only one such short long pair, AA, and in general it is difficult or impossible to find minimal short long pairs in Thai that involve vowels other than a, uh, and where both members have frequent correspondences throughout the Thai languages. More specifically, he notes the following facts about Thai. In open syllables, only long vowels occur, this assumes that all apparent cases of short open syllables are better described as ending in a glottal stop. This makes sense from the lack of tonal distinctions in such syllables, and the glottal stop is also reconstructable across the Thai languages. In closed syllables, the long high vowels, i u, are rare, and cases that do exist typically have diphthongs in other Thai languages. In closed syllables, both short and long mid, e e o o, and lo, do occur. However, generally, only words with short, e o, and long, are reconstructable back to proto Thai. Both of the mid-back unrounded vowels 
are rare, and words with such sounds generally cannot be reconstructed back to proto Thai. Furthermore, the vowel that corresponds to short Thai, a, has a different and often higher quality in many of the Thai languages compared with the vowel corresponding to Thai, a. This leads Lee to posit the following. Proto-Thai had a system of nine pure vowels with no length distinction, and possessing approximately the same qualities as in modern Thai, hi, i, u, mid, e, o, lo, the. All proto-Thai vowels were lengthened in open syllables, and low vowels were also lengthened in closed syllables. Modern Thai largely preserved the original lengths and qualities, but lowered to, a, which became short, a, in closed syllables and created a phonemic length distinction, a, a. Eventually, length in all other vowels became phonemic as well and a new, both short and long, was introduced, through a combination of borrowing and sound change. Lee believes that the development of long, i, u, from diphthongs, and the lowering of, to, a, to create a length distinction, a, a, had occurred by the time of Proto-Southwestern Thai, but the other missing modern Thai vowels had not yet developed. Note that not all researchers agree with Lee. Pitayaporn, 2009, for example, reconstructs a similar system for Proto-Southwestern Thai, but believes that there was also a mid-back unrounded vowel, which he describes as, occurring only before final velar, k. He also seems to believe that the Proto-Southwestern Thai vowel length distinctions can be reconstructed back to similar distinctions in Proto-Thai. Topic: <laughs> Connection to ancient U languages. Thai descends from Proto-Thai Kadai, which has been hypothesized to originate in the lower Yangtze valleys. Ancient Chinese texts refer to non-Sinitic languages spoken across this substantial region and their speakers as you. Although those languages are extinct, traces of their existence could be found in unearthed inscriptional materials, ancient Chinese historical texts and non-Han substrata in various southern Chinese dialects. Thai, as the most spoken language in Thai Kadai language family, has been used extensively in historical comparative linguistics to identify the origins of languages spoken in the ancient region of South China. One of the very few direct records of non-Sinitic speech in pre-Qin and Han times having been preserved so far as the Song of the Yu Boatman, Yuren Zhu Ren Ge, which was transcribed phonetically in Chinese characters in 528 BC, and found in the Shan Shuo Shanshuo chapter of the Shuoyuan Shuoyuan or Garden of Persuasions. In the early 80s the Zhuang linguist Wei Qingwen using reconstructed Old Chinese for the characters discovered that the resulting vocabulary showed strong resemblance to modern Zhuang. Later, Zheng Zheng Shangfang followed Wei's insight but used Thai script for comparison, since this orthography dates from the 13th century and preserves archaisms vis-a-vis -vis the modern pronunciation. The following is a simplified interpretation of the Song of the Yu Boatman. By Zheng Zheng Shangfang quoted by David Holm 2013 with Thai script and Chinese glosses being omitted. Besides this classical case, various papers in historical linguistics have employed Thai for comparative purposes in studying the linguistic landscape of the ancient region of southern China. Proto-reconstructions of some scattered non-Sinitic words found in the two ancient Chinese fictional texts, Mu Tianzi Zuan Mu Tianzi Chuan 4th C. BC and Yuju Shu Yu Jue Shu first C. A. D. are used to compare to Thai, Siamese and its related languages in Thai Kadai language family in an attempt to identify the origins of those words. The following examples are cited from Wolfgang Baer's work 2002, Wu Wei Shan Yi Wei Dao Dao Huan Hao Kong Zhang Guo Ming Kong Zhu Ren the Wu Se Yi for good and Huan for Wei, i.e. in their titles they follow the central kingdoms, but in their names they follow their own lords, Yi Yi Huan Huan Yu Jue Shu Yu Jue Shu the Book of Yu Records, first C. A D Jue Jue, Gu Zhang Shan Jie Yu Tong Guan Ji Shan Yi Yu Ren Wei Ji Tong Gu Gu Du The Middle Mountains of Gu are the mountains of the Yu's Bronze Office, the Yu people call them Bronze Gu Gu Du, Gu Gu Du Guda Siamese Kao One, Horn, Dia Zhao Five, Sipsongpana Zhao One, Da Hong Zhao One, Lu Zhao One, D I O I K A O U One, Mountain, Hill. Yu Ren Wei Chuan Wei Shu The Yu people call a boat Zulu, beard and cottage Shu Shu, Siamese Sa noun prefix Lu Lu Siamese Ra Tu, Long Zhao L Tu, Boe Lu Tu, Daya Tu, Dahong 
two boat Lu Jia Zhu Wu Shi Shi Sheng Ming Yu Ding Kuo Sheng Lu Jia the King of Jing Jing built the Western Wall. It was called Ding Kuo settle D and grindstone wall Ding Ding Siamese Dia One Dia Two Sipsongpana C Two Wall Kuo Kuo Siamese T O K D Ones to set sunset west to Wan Tok sunset equals west Longzhou Tuck Seven Boe Teak Seven Dia Tok Seven Sipsongpana Tok Seven Topic C also Thai alphabet Thai honorifics Thai literature Thai numerals Topic Notes Topic References Topic Sources Topic Further reading English Douglas 1999 Lexical conceptual structure of numeral classifiers in Thai Part One Payap Research and Development Institute and the Summer Institute of Linguistics. Payap University. Inglis, Douglas, 2000. Grammatical Conceptual Structure of Numeral Classifiers in Thai Part 2. Payap Research and Development Institute and the Summer Institute of Linguistics. Payap University. Inglis, Douglas, 2003. Conceptual Structure of Numeral Classifiers in Thai. In Eugene E. Cassid and Gary B. Palmer, eds. Cognitive Linguistics and Non-Indo-European Languages. CLR Series 18. N.D. Gary B. Palmer. Mouton de Gruyter, 223-246. External links IPA and Sampa for Thai Structure of Thai Language th101 PDF version of University Textbook Consonant ear training tape Tones of Thai dialect glossaries and word lists Thai phrasebook from Wikivoyage Thai Swadesh list of basic vocabulary words from Wiktionary's Swadesh list appendix dictionaries English Thai dictionary, English Thai bilingual online dictionary The Royal Institute Dictionary, official standard Thai Thai dictionary Longdu Thai dictionary Longdudic Thai English dictionary Thai2English.com, Lexitron-based Thai English Dictionary Dalagad Thai, Mobile OCR Thai English Dictionary Thai Dictionaries for Stardict, Goldendict, Thai, English, French, German, Russian and others Dictionaries in Stardict and Goldendict formats Volubilis Dictionary Volubilis Romanized Thai, Thai, English, French, Free Databases, ODS, XLSX and Dictionaries PDF, Thai Transcription System, Learners Resources Thailearner free Android software to learn Thai language Thai-language.com English speakers online resource for the Thai language Say hello in the Thai language FSI Thai language course formerly at ThaiLanguageWiki.com Spoken Thai 30 exercises with audio Thai books plus audio, a lot of books in Thai with audio Thai keyboard Thai keyboard virtual Thai keyboard